Hey scrappers, let's talk today about electric motors and some of the common mistakes people make when they try to bring these things in. Alright, first off, a lot of people bring these old well pumps in with these plastic tops on here. You can hit these with a sledgehammer or something and break these tops off. Uh, they're not going to go as electric motors with all this extra plastic and metal on them. So go ahead and cut those, bust them with a hammer, whatever you got to do, knock those out of there. And then uh, anything you see in this container, any of these fan motors, any of these smaller electric motors like this are going to go. Starters off your lawnmowers are going to go as electric motors. Anything you see in here is going to go as your basic electric motors. Uh, you just want to make sure you don't have a bunch of plastic or excess metal on them, like fan blades, anything like that. Alright scrappers, this is one of the most common mistakes people do. They leave a lot of this metal on here. This is the only part that's the electric motor. Everything else is just steel. You want to either cut these bolts or just break them. This is all just cast. It'll break pretty easy with just a hammer. And then the other thing is always cut your cords off. We talked about that in the insulated copper video, but you see this a lot every day and this, this really drops the price down on you. And then uh, another thing right here, anytime you get these older washing machine motors or anything like this, you want to cut into them and check them and make sure these are aluminum. You can see where I cut it right there. It's aluminum wrap, so this is just going to go with your aluminum breakage. Same thing with this one here. I scratched it, it's aluminum. It's going to go with your aluminum breakage. Alright, your transformer is the same thing. You want to scratch them, look to see if they're copper. This one's copper. Some places buy these as electric motors. Other places, they're going to have a separate category for transformers. You just want to call ahead and check. Keep them separated from your electric motors if you can. But also, they do come in aluminum, so you want to check them. And sometimes the top coil could be copper and the bottom will be aluminum. If that's the case, they're still going to go as a scrap price. So just make sure you check them before you bring them in. Your car starters, you can put these in with your electric motors, but you're going to lose money on them. They go for a lot more than electric motors do. Typically a few cents more a pound, so keep that in mind. Alternators, the same thing. You can put these in with your electric motors, but they're going to go for a premium. These are usually between five to ten cents more a pound than your electric motors are going to bring. So you definitely don't want to mix these in with your electric motors. And then finally you have uh, AC compressors. I get a lot of questions on these. People try to bring these in. There's not copper in these really. It's all in the head right here. It's got electronic clutch on it. If they're aluminum, you can put them in with your breakage. If they're not aluminum, some places have a separate price for these, so just uh, you want to check with your yard before you start separating it out. But typically these are going to be a few cents under whatever your electric motor price is. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. This was the electric motor video. Uh, if you have any questions, hit us up on Facebook. We'll have a link on the bottom. We'll try to get your questions answered. And if you like the videos, like and subscribe. Thank you.